Sudan, a nation with a population exceeding 40 million people, is currently embroiled in a civil conflict that began in April 2023. The conflict stems from a power struggle between two factions of the military government that seized control following a coup in October 2021. The Sudanese Armed Forces under General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and the Rapid Support Forces led by General Mohammed Hamdan Hamedi Dagalo are vying for dominance over the state and its resources. Additionally, the Sudan People's Liberation Movement North, led by Abdulaziz Al Hilu, has entered the fray, aiming to establish a democratic and secular Sudan, along with advocating for self determination for the people of South Kordofan and Blue Nile states. The SAF currently holds sway over the eastern and northern regions of Sudan, including Port Sudan, where Al Burhan has established his government. With a larger and more professional army, the SAF has approximately 150,000 troops and is supported by various rebel groups and several countries, such as Egypt, Iran, Niger, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Ukraine. On the other hand, the RSF controls much of the western and central regions of Sudan, including parts of the Khartoum, Darfur, and Kordofan. Originating from the Darfur conflict, the RSF is a paramilitary force with around 100,000 troops and is allied with various factions and countries like Central African Republic, Chad, the United Arab Emirates, and others. The SPLMN, operating in South Kordofan and Blue Nile State, has been engaged in conflict with the government since 2011. With a disciplined army of around 40,000 troops, the SPMLN is supported by local populations and allied with other groups and countries like Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Russia, South Sudan and Uganda. Efforts to broker a ceasefire or truce in Sudan have been unsuccessful due to deep mistrust and conflicting interests among the parties involved, as well as involvement of various regional and international actors. Despite the mediation attempts by the organizations like African Union and the United Nations, a lasting peace agreement remains elusive, leaving millions of Sudanese in dire need of humanitarian aid and protection.